In this study, we investigate how different ways of providing feedback are perceived cross-culturally. The investigation of intercultural differences is, however, methodologically quite tricky. We therefore use human-robot interactions for our analysis, since robots can be manipulated and controlled in ways in which humans cannot, and that allows the controlled research of different feedback strategies across culture. In the first study, we asked participants to provide feedback on two business ideas, designed deliberately in a way to trigger positive and negative one. Participants' feedback was video recorded and analyzed based on dimensions previously discussed in the literature. The identified strategies were used to create three culture-specific versions of positive and negative feedback to be used as stimuli in the next questionnaire study, where participants had to solve two tasks for which they received feedback afterwards. To subject all participants to comparable stimuli, we created all feedback in English and modified them according to the found strategies. We carried out a questionnaire study in which the EZ boot delivered feedback using strategies identified as common in either Denmark, Poland or Germany. We had people rate the robot that gave them feedback using one of the different strategies we established. 236 complete responses were gathered. Interestingly, the feedback strategies do not always receive the best ratings from their own native speakers. For instance, Danish positive feedback is rated as significantly less motivating, empathetic, entertaining and less dominant by Danes than by Germans. The study has revealed many interesting intercultural differences on feedback giving strategies. The results show that using a robot in intercultural communication research allows the control investigation of otherwise elusive pragmatic information, such as intercultural differences in the perception of feedback. Thank you.